or reproach to every people. Therefore, we're talking to God regarding sin in nations. Because God has said, the heavens can be shut if they sin. He said, if I shut the heavens because of iniquity, transgression, if my people who are called by my name we humble themselves, we repent, we turn from their wicked ways and call upon the name of the Lord. Then the Lord will hear from heaven, he will forgive the sins, and then he will begin to heal the land. We're going to talk to God today in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth regarding sin in nations all over the world, that the hand of the Lord, the Spirit of God, will move mightily all over the world, bringing conviction on sinners, on backsliders, and bringing repentance unto the people around the globe in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Number two stronghold we want to deal with is the stronghold of Satan, spirits, satanic strongholds in nations. Look at in the book of Jeremiah chapter 1, verse number 10. He said, See, God speaking now, of this day set thee over the nations what do you do over the kingdoms what should you do to root out to pull down to destroy to throw down and to build that's what we're going to do today majorly we're taking authority over principalities over powers over territorial spirits over nations cities communities all over the world we're bringing down the kingdom of darkness opposed to the kingdom of god in the name of Jesus, open your mouth and begin to take authority now. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. You are putting on the whole armor of God because we are in a warfare. And our warfare is not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers, against the rulers of darkness of this world, in high and low places, in cities and nations all over the world. But we are bringing down, we are casting down, we are pulling down all their strongholds in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. Number three stronghold is what I call set aside traps. You remember Elijah and Elisha. Elijah was going to be taken away, and Elisha was to get the double portion. And then the sons of the prophets were bringing sidetrack. Do you know that your master will be taken away today? This was no time for chit chatting. You see me? That is the key. If you are focused, if you are not distracted, and you see the move of God in these meetings this weekend, then you will see that all your blessings you will get to them and pick them home in the name of Jesus Christ. This is no time to look at your devices and check out emails and then pop-ups or, or alerts to distract you. Pay attention to what is happening. Set your eyes on the go, on the ball, on the rain, and get all that belongs to you in the name of Jesus. Elisha saw it when he was taken away. He got the mantra. He got the anointing. You must this weekend in Jesus name the fault we're dealing with is self sometimes self is our enemy is a setback is a stronghold of a nature look at Martha and Mary they were all you know around Jesus and then Martha was consumed with serving food but Mary sat at the feet of Jesus Christ, listening to the word of God, and Jesus recommended and commended her that she picked the right thing, the needful thing, the important thing. You need to be focused at this time. This is no time to be listening to the word and then be you know, doing laundry or cooking or shopping. No, those things must be put away in the name of Jesus Christ. We want to look at number five, a um, stronghold, believe it or not, for some people is sleep and slumber. A little sleep, a little slumber, a little folding of hands. But this weekend, these days, you want to put aside anything, everything that can stop you in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You might be listening to this in some part of the world that is 2 a.m. or 4 a.m. now, and they are not going to tell uh, an Alexa. Now record the message and wake me up at 8 o'clock in the morning so I can listen to it. You ain't got time for that. 
Your house is on fire. You can't be sleeping. Don't be like uh, this prophet of God, Jonah. A storm is raging, and Jonah is fast asleep someplace underneath. And the mariners came to him and said, Oh, thou sleeper, what meanest thou? Rise up and call upon the name of the Lord. Your marriage is on fire, about to break up. This is no time to be sleeping. Wake up, stay awake, get the blessings of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Look at Jacob. He was wrestling with the angel through the night. The angel said, let me go now. The day is breaking. He said, are you kidding me? If I don't get my blessing, I'm not going to let you go. That must be your attitude this time. In the name of Jesus. For some people, their problem is segregation, separation. I am not of this ministry. I have my own church. I have my own religion. That's what is separating them from the presence of God, from the power of God, from the healing that they need. They have been in this religion, in this place, called a ministry, a church, for 30 years. But the cancer has remained, the cancer of sin. In the name of Jesus Christ, this is the time we are breaking down all denominational walls. We are pulling down all religious uh, uh, stand-ups or hindrances in the name of Jesus Christ. We are throwing down all forms of uh, obstructions on the way of the people of God. In Jesus' mighty name, amen. For some is this little word, silence. They come to a place like this, and you're asking people to pray, and then they're quiet, they're silent. But look at the man, this man called Blind Bartimaeus. He was sitting, I mean, he was uh, begging on the road, and then he heard that Jesus was passing by, and he began to shout, he began to scream for help. Thou son of David, have mercy on me. But you know, some people tried to shut him down. Some people said, be quiet. This is no time for quietness. This is not the time to be dignified. This is not the time to be looking around when we're calling out prayers. The heaven is rolling out blessings now. You must open your mouth to pray. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, the heavens are ready to empty out rain already. In the name of Jesus, open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain, let it rain. Open the floodgates of heaven, let it rain. Somebody cry out for the rain. Somebody shout for the rain coming down from heaven. In the name of Jesus, and say, don't be quiet. Call upon the name of the Lord. Make sure you receive the rain coming from heaven these days. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. It is like this man of God that was taken to the temple and the waters of life coming from the altar was flowing. He got to the ankle. Maybe he got to the ankle last day. Today he's getting to the here to the to the knees, the water of life. Tomorrow it will get to our waist, the water of life. And then finally, by the time we are done on Sunday, we'll be swimming in the water of life, the blessings of God, overtaking your people in the name of Jesus. Thank you, my Father. Blessed be God forever. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed.